Wheelbarrow Parkour, so let's talk about our latest film. Now, we did this one in collaboration with one of our all-time favorite actors, and he's incredible at improv. That is Matt Madsen. I'll have the link down below in the video description to his Instagram. But he was in our Fortnite video. He's been in a bunch of our videos, but one of our favorite people to work with. He's one of the funniest human beings that we know. This idea originally came from a YouTube video we saw on YouTube of a guy doing wheelbarrowing, doing tricks. And I was like, that's the most ridiculous thing we've ever seen. But what if we kind of took that idea and tried to take it to the next level as far as doing a mockumentary. Now, mockumentary is essentially a documentary, but it's not real. Um, that's kind of like the easy way of looking at it. Um, so we essentially film this over the course of three different days, three or four different days you lose track. And um, the way it kind of works as far as the collaboration is I told Matt, okay, this is the synopsis. Um, you're preparing to do the greatest trick of your life. And we would just come up with different funny things that would happen through this documentary. Because we were doing so many takes, we had a lot of things that didn't make the cut. I'll just show you guys a couple little clips just so you have an idea of things we're cutting out. Like, I feel this stuff is golden, but it just wasn't the right clip for the story we were trying to tell for the main channel. So just take a look at that. I loved her. She was, first of all, she was crazy. Second of all, she was crazy. <laughs> Mm -hmm. She would do stuff and I'd walk in and I'd say, are you crazy? And she'd say, I'm crazy. So, that was the issue. She hated wheelbarrowing. She thought it was a waste of time. She said, why don't you carry stuff around? I said, what are you, crazy? Turns out she was actually crazy. She's in the institution right now. So. I noticed that you've had change everywhere you're running. I hear it. What's up with that? 79 cents. I carry it around everywhere I go. Back when my granddad was wheelbarrowing, uh, that's how much it cost to, to get a wheelbarrow, and he worked for three summers to gather that much money for a wheelbarrow. And so I carry it with me everywhere I go uh, as a reminder. Oh, shh. Could you guys help? It was a dime. Could you guys please put this stuff down and... See? I can usually do it better than I can do better than that. Why is it called the stall on the wall? You'll see. <laughs> Two. Nine, ten. Now, ten. Ten. Is that as easy as it looks? If you practice for every day for all of your life, you'd get five seconds. So those are the clips that got cut, and keep in mind, that was just a minute or so, give or take. Um, we cut so much out of the film, so it's always hard as far as figuring out what we're gonna take out of the film, what we're gonna keep in the film. One of the things we felt we needed was a really awesome location that had a bunch of half pipes, quarter pipes. Super thanks to John from Super Ramp Technologies. He is, I mean, he's a rock star as it is, a professional athlete, especially back in the day, the BMX days. Um, we filmed, all, I mean, a big part of this video at his house. Whenever you saw the half pipes, the quarter pipes that were in someone's house, like backyard, that was his house. He makes these for a living for big companies like Nitro Circus, Mountain Dew, like you name it, he's probably made ramps for them. Um, some of the best in the business. Um, and they actually are only like a five minute drive from our house, but super thanks to Super Ramp Technologies for providing us with these incredible ramps for our film. Um, and he ended up having a cameo in it as well. Once we got all those stuff, we're like, let's show inside interior houses. So Creighton on our team, we ended up filming all those scenes in his house. Um, so we spent a half a day filming there and we started jumping into all these different skate parks. And then for the final scene, we filmed it at Utah Olympic Park. Yeah, this is where the 2002 Winter Olympics actually happened. It's a location that you can, you can go to as a tourist and see professionals do their thing. And if you're a professional, you could hit it as well, I'm sure, for a small price or a big price. And um, that's where we filmed the final step before the season started. Um, now, at the very end, you saw Matt do the craziest trick we've ever captured on film. Um, our friend Taylor, who does a lot of amazing VFX for us, he was the one that actually digitally recreated Matt Madsen and all his beauty and all his glory. And that's what you see. And that was that was fake, guys, just for the record. It's completely ridiculous, um, but we just wanted people to have a good laugh. So that's kind of where that came from. And for us, this is a whole new venture as far as long form storytelling. Um, this is kind of like a scary risk. Like I'm, I'm afraid to release this to you guys because we never done anything like this, but I'm really proud of it. 
Um, everyone that was a part of it, we were laughing constantly while filming. Um, and when you're doing the mockumentary, at least from my experience, you're shooting a lot of different takes of a lot of different scenarios. I say, okay, Matt, now pretend like you lost your girlfriend from wheelbarrowing. And then he'd give us an example on that. Like we were just constantly throwing out different synopsises. And then once we went to the editing room, Jeff and our team was editing this project, we would see what was the funniest, what played out well, what didn't play out well. And that was a big process as far as several months just to get dialed in as far as what played out the best on camera and to tell the story. Once all that was assembled, then we started adding in a couple other voiceovers that came from me or from Matt. Um, and that's what essentially finalized the entire film. So there you have it. This was a passion project, labor of love, um, something I've always wanted to do. Um, we do a lot of extreme sports stuff, but I wanted to do something that was just like completely random, far out there, but also tell a story as far as someone going to do the biggest trick of their life. So hopefully you guys got a sense of that. We love to do more of these films. So if you guys like it, if you guys love it, share the film because the more eyes we can get on it, the more films like this we can make. Super thanks again to all these people that made this project happen. Super thanks to Matt Manson, or William Barrow, depending on who you talk to, um, for putting his, his heart into this project as well. And I feel it shows through this. So we just love working with people that are passionate about what they do. And everyone that was a part of this project, we're doing it just because we love telling stories and we love working together. And this is what you guys get. So if you guys haven't seen it yet, definitely click the link. It's a process, a labor of love.